Hello and welcome to the SCLD podcast. I'm Erin Dodge, a communication specialist here at the Spokane County Library District. And today I'm here with Gwendolyn Haley and we're gonna talk about something that's pretty cool, uh, I think so. And, mm -hmm. um, but first, a little bit about what you do here. Sure, I am the Public Services Manager for Education and Enrichment, okay. which means my team is responsible for planning uh, services and programs and events for folks eight to 108. Yes. Um, we call it lifelong learning. So uh, a, with a lot of fun uh, sprinkled in and things that kind of capture people's interest and imagination, um, but also can maybe help you have a better day. Oh, wonderful. And today we're talking about learning circles. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a little bit about what a learning circle is and maybe who it might be for? Sure, sure. Um, and I'm going to start with just talking about um, online learning. You know, okay. one of the things that's really cool about living now is that there are opportunities to take classes and all kinds of things online anywhere you are any place any time on your schedule so that's the great bonus but as so often happens we kind of know that anywhere anytime often can translate to kind of nowhere in no time <laughs> right or like you have the best of intentions and then mm -hmm. you sign up for it the way the, and yeah whatever. so a learning circle kind of takes the best of that piece which is okay. the learning anywhere anytime at your own pace but it combines this with a group of people who are learning together so you okay. all take the class together as a group um, there's no grades, there's no tests, okay. right? But instead, it's just a group of people coming together to encourage each other to continue with the learning, but oh, okay. also to have a chance to talk about it. And it really does um, fit for some, not all of us learn best by just reading a lot of stuff. Sure. Um, not everyone is a visual learner. Some people learn best when they have a chance to really talk it through and ask their questions, yes. interact with the material. Um, a lot of times with an online course, if you're watching videos, that's great but there's not a chance to process with the instructor right. in the same way. So that's the other thing the learning circle can allow. So for folks who are maybe, this is a new experience in, in a more formal learning setting, it's a very low um, stress and low barrier way to kind okay. of dip your toe in the water and say, I'm interested in this topic, I wanna learn about it, but I wanna do it in an environment that is very supportive. Yes. Um, that is gonna engage me and hold me accountable to doing it, sure. but also lets me um, kind of commit as much as I'm able and willing to mm -hmm. in the process. And it, it, as you were talking about it, it felt a little bit like, okay, so it's the online course component, mm -hmm. but then like a study group, like right. where you're getting together right. and you're talking about the ideas and concepts and mm -hmm. things that you may or may not, you make me, you, clarification, you might need clarification, right. or maybe you're like, hey, did anybody think about this? Right. And you sort of have that Yeah, discussion. and a chance to bounce your ideas off, and it's a facilitated discussion, okay. which is nice, so um, it allows for um, everyone to kind of come together in a safe space with some kind of guide, guide rules and yeah. gu about how we're going to interact and yeah. be respectful and supportive of one another. Nobody's going to yell at anybody. Right. We're going to all come with open right. minds. And, and everyone's in a different place in their learning jour uh, yes. journey. And so it's just a way, and our facilitators are trained to work with everyone and Wonderful. kind of keep the group meeting their own goals because every person comes to a learning situation with their own their own goals. Yeah. And so that's what I love about learning circles. Um, so we've done a couple. Um, we've done them online. We've done them in person. Okay. And so um, we're starting to ramp up uh, some more learning circles and I'm looking forward to the next one. Wonderful. Yeah. And the next one is? It is the Science of Wellbeing. Uh, it's a Coursera is the, the course okay. provider, but the professor is actually uh, Professor Lori Santos, a PhD, and she's from Yale University. Oh. And Very she's nice. a psychologist and director of the Comparative Cognition laboratory wow. and uh, which is a mouthful but uh, it's really the science of kind of thinking about how, what makes us happy sure. um, and and what are the the thought patterns and the things that we do that that might get in the way okay. of of our own of our own happiness and, sure. and overall well-being so uh, scientifically based very applicable we're offering it in May which is mental health month okay and I think after the last two years, everyone has had their own struggles. It has been a challenging time for all of us. Agreed. And I think we could all use maybe Agreed. a little bit of help and support to kind of figure out now, what does it mean for me to, to really pursue my own well-being yes. and, and, and work together with a group of people who are committed to the same thing? And I think I, that, that sounds like a great topic because mm -hmm. I think some people you know, you've heard of self-care and you mm -hmm. you want to take care of yourself, right? But like, where do I start? Right, right. And this could be sort of a way to, to just 
dip your toe in and learn about well-being and what that means and psychology of it. And Right. And what I love about this is it is based in cognitive and behavioral science. So okay. it's not just, you know, somebody's Aunt Edna on the internet giving Saying, you good advice. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's, it's, it's been tested, it's been applied, it's been studied. And so these are some things that we can kind of delve into. Okay. And I love the idea that it's thinking about... Um, how to build habits that okay. that can increase our happiness and also thinking about again those habits that we may have already that can be detrimental to our overall sense of well-being and okay. how to make some changes in the way we approach life and and are thinking about what does it mean to be happy right so and now so this the the there's the component that's on is it all online is right it? so we're doing this one online so when you okay. sign up through the library system you'll get a zoom link okay. and that's where we'll be meeting in an online space and the nice thing about that is it allows us to be face to face but you you know can come home at the end of your day and mm -hmm. sit down with your dinner and not have to go back out again and, sure. and 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 do it that way so and if anybody has like spotty wi-fi or they're kind of in a part of the county where maybe they don't have access to Wi-Fi. Right. We have hotspots that oh, people yay. can borrow <laughs> for free. And because this is actually a four, it's, it's four courses. So it'll be, we'll meet four times um, once a week. And those hotspots that if you can arrange the time frame, mm -hmm. it, you can have it for the whole for month. For the whole month, yeah. And that's basically a, a box. We'll just call it a <laughs> call box. A box. <laughs> <laughs> that connects to basically a cellular data type plan and gives you Wi-Fi for your devices right. in your home. And it's completely free. Um, yes. The library district provides these and you can check them out and you don't have to worry about paying a Verizon bill or any of that. Yes. That's the service is free through the library. And you can find out about these on our website at mm -hmm. www three W's. Dot SLD org <laughs> and just search for hotspots and I you, you need to call or come in to get them reserved but mm -hmm. um, what a wonderful thing yeah, yeah. no and this, I'm so excited we've done as I said we've done a couple of different uh, learning circles in the past and each one is different because it depends on the people who are attending and participating we did one about understanding race relations in America okay. and that was an excellent one with some really great conversation. I did one that was a real stretch for me about okay. creative writing. Oh, and okay. I, I'm I'm not a creative writer. That terrifies me. <laughs> and so uh, it was really great because the folks were all so encouraging to one another as we oh, got good. together and went through the exercises. And I did it too as a facilitator and a learner. And they held me accountable. They're like, oh, Wendell, you're going to have to read your paragraph out loud now. And it was it was terrifying. So. Um, and but you have a lot of great stories. I've gotten to know you over the years, <laughs> and I feel like if you could get your stories on the page, they they do yeah. wonderfully. No, I feel like I'm a better uh, speaker, which okay. I, I did want to give you a surprise, a teaser. I am planning on facilitating in the fall a public speaking oh. uh, learning circle. Yes. Talk about things that people are terrified of, because I did the thing that scared me most in the world, creative writing. Okay. And I know for a lot of people that public speaking, yes. they would rather die, like literally rather die oh. than have to do public speaking. And so I thought that'll be a good one for me to facilitate <laughs> because I enjoy it so much. <laughs> It'll be fun. And you'll be inspiring for sure. <laughs> you inspire me. So <laughs> yeah, but this, this is going to be great. I hope people will sign up. Uh, you'll be able to register through Evans, and there'll be some directions there on yes. our on our website, and just go to our events and look for the Science of Well-being, be being, <laughs> Well-being <laughs> Learning Circle. Yes, and um, if you have again any questions, you can always uh, reach out to the library. We mm -hmm. have uh, Ask a Librarian forums. Mm -hmm. You can find a phone number for us. And that's all on our website at scld.org. And thank you, Gwendolyn, for thank being you. here today. And the science of well-being. Yeah, I'm we excited. all need that in our life. We do. <laughs> all right. I hope you get some science of well-being in your life, and we'll talk to you next time.